Here we sit with uh, Ted Velaconia, Chris Ballog, and myself, Tim Lefebvre, after completing the 2013 Giro d'Italia. It's, uh, it's easy to say that Ted's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement. Yeah. Tired, uh, physically tired and, and mentally tired. 34 kilometer, 3,400 kilometers over three weeks. Ted's completed the Giro d'Italia one day in front of the pros and uh, even more than that. Can you explain? Well, there was a uh, one day we completed it and uh, the next day the stage was canceled for the pros. So we ended up doing uh, uh, the Gavia, Stelvio, and uh, Martel, I'm not Martello sure. climb, and that's oh. something the pros didn't have a chance yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. so uh, absolutely uh, more so than, than the pros. Mm. Ted, is there any one day or one event that stands out in those 21 stages, something that really stands out in your mind? Yeah, I think there was three, and it's got a little long-winded, but the uh, first one was doing the Galibier because we got up to eight kilometers with, from the top and the road is closed, so I had to go on my own. The nice thing was the road was closed. Um, and then getting past Pantani's monument where the pros had stopped, and I thought, I can go a little further. And so making it right to the top where they had stopped about four kilometers short. It was a beautiful morning, it was bright sunshine. And the next one was Mount Sinise where the one day we went over and we couldn't see uh, two feet in front of us from slush and snow and then the next day, two days later, we went back over it and it was bright blue skies and fresh powder. We have some great shots of you at uh, Chimacopi on the Stelvio. So how many climbs did you do that the actual Giro wasn't able to do? Oh, I think there was a, the three anyhow and, and uh, the siesta, siesta, siesta. Three and sestriere. Yeah, sestriere. We're gonna, be, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> be saying that one right before work. we get to the Vuelta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what's uh, what's next on the menu? Here we are to watch the pros arrive in Croatia, right, Tim? Already looking up for the Volta, right? Right. We've completed the Tour of California, the Tour of Switzerland, the Tour de France, and now the Giro d'Italia. So the next, uh, we have to complete uh, the last Grand Tour, which is be the Volta de España next September. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Some more hills, better weather, maybe less snow. A little warmer in September, absolutely. Good. So, for Soul Riders. Ted Velaconia's Giro d'Italia challenge. Thanks for following us during this long month.